you have three mobilizations you're going to be doing in order to help make sure that this joint right here that you had your surgery on can get the type of bend back into extension that it needs so that way when you're walking you can keep your foot straight and roll right on through as that heel rises and the toe allows it to bend so the first one is going to be the distraction so for three rounds of 30 seconds, you're going to hang on to the foot just above that joint. And then with the other hand, you're going to grab a hold of that whole thumb. And in a rhythmic fashion, we're going to distract in that direction away from the foot. And you can always compare your involved side to your uninvolved side. So you can really get a feel as to how much tighter, how much more restricted that right foot, especially that right big toe is. So after you do three rounds of 30 seconds, next we're gonna work on helping to improve the bend. So for the bend upward, the first thing we wanna do is get the toe up as much into flexion as you have. So for mine, it goes pretty high. For yours, it may not go that high, that's okay. You work with what you've got. So get all the way to the end, you're going to stabilize on the back side. Work your fingers around so you can grasp that toe and put your thumb right down at the base of the toe itself, but still on the outward side of the joint. And then we're going to apply a force with both thumbs in a down and forward direction. Again, three rounds of 30 seconds. And you can see just how subtle that movement is. And the third one is going to be, we're gonna go the opposite direction into full flexion, and we're gonna to wanna to place a thumb or a finger underneath that, uh, that toe, and instead of going down and forward like we did on the last one, we're gonna go up and forward. Now this one's kinda of hard to get the right camera view to see, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook my thumb around underneath, and I'm going to basically do very similar thing. And I don't know if you can see, see if you can get it close to the camera here, but if you look right in this area, you might be able to see how the base of that toe moves just a little bit. Again, three rounds of 30 seconds. You may have to play with this one to see if you can find a way that really gets it to move in a, in a comfortable manner. Uh, you know, you can try and pin your other finger underneath it and maybe do like a, like a squeezing motion. So you're pushing down on the thumb and up on the finger to get a similar movement. Always a good opportunity to play with it. So three by 30 seconds of each of those three after you've had sufficient opportunity to warm up that joint. Do that every single day and you will be in business.